Welcome to this radio channel and this is the solar and propagation outlook for the shortwave bands for the weekend that's coming up. So this is going to be interesting to see through this weekend because uh, first of all the good news I would say is uh, no coronal holes pretty much. They're all kind of uh, stayed kind of shut down a little bit so there's really no major coronal holes spewing, spewing any um, you know solar wind towards us so that's good news um, there's also that sunspot that's there so sunspot um, 2719 that we talked about it earlier this week still there it grew a little bit but it's a pretty quiet spot in general so slightly increased solar activity uh, some quiet conditions typically there's just one thing that might actually cause some problems. So if we look at the K index, it stayed rather quiet. A few peaks at three, but most of the time, more at like two and one. Right now it's really quiet at zero. Um, this should continue pretty much through the weekend, except for one little thing. Um, we had a, you know, the sun doesn't need to have any... Um, any sunspots are to, to have solar flares that would spew out gas towards us. Um, sometimes there's these magnetic filaments that float over the surface of the sun and sometimes they can snap and kind of do a small explosion. So that's what happened this week. There was one that actually collapsed, created coronal mass ejection. That's a cloud of gas going, coming towards us pretty much. Um, that we are looking at because we're not really sure if it will have an impact but we actually know that there's one that's actually coming towards us and that means that the activity that that little um, that cloud of gas might actually do is possibly going to impact us in the next two or three days but is it strong enough to really, you know, create anything, any problems, or make the geomagnetic um, field go into a storm level? That's anyone's guess, um, as solar prediction is far from being a, uh, you know, a perfect, a perfect uh, science. But um, you know, let's kind of say that we're expecting rather um, quiet results. If it does happen, it should happen somewhere like on Saturday or Sunday. If you see the K index rise, you'll see that the impact of that coronal, coronal mass ejection, but apart from that, rather quiet conditions right now. So the bands shouldn't be too bad actually. And of course, uh, we'll try to check that out and have a few videos of tuning the bands. I plan to have some uh, uh, walk in the park videos with my Texan PL680 uh, later today. So uh, if you enjoyed these, they should pop up today and uh, maybe tomorrow. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, enjoy your radio listening.